Hi folks and uh, welcome back. Now I think it's time to get this lot, not including the meter or the packet or the tray of resistors. Ooh, it's time to get this lot, this transformer and this board back into this and this deck down here, back into this case and see how it works. Hopefully it should work a damn sight better. With what we've done, I'll just recap. Pardon the expression. Let's just... Unplug that plug from there. Turn that variator down for next use. Right, unplug that from there, because don't need that. Right, put stuff away that I don't need. Right, put these two head shells out of the way because they've got to go into record players. They are actually what is needed. I'm going to do that later. Right. Uh, right, what I'll do, I'll recap on what I've done. Right, what we've done, what we've actually done, we've actually replaced, if I zoom in, if I can zoom in. Uh, can I? Whoops. That's better. I'll do you by hand, I can't be asked moving. Right. Can't be asked reaching over there for the remote. Right, here we go. Right, what we've what we've done. Right, what I've done. I'll show you what I've done. I'll zoom in. I couldn't find any any replacement valves to try it, but I don't think that's the issue. Uh, right, so right, I've replaced. This resistor, this resistor, here. Uh, this resistor here. I replaced R11 here, down here, in between the two valves. I did that when it first came in for repair, because that was fucked, there was no sound at all. And I've replaced this resistor here, and I think that's about it. As well as the capacitors, I've done the capacitors. <coughs> Oh, and the rectifier. <coughs> the capacitors were done in the last video. The rectifier was done in the last video. In the, not in the last video. In the last time I did this machine. When, the first, when it first came in. When I did this uh, record player. But since then we've had a revisit. So, during the revisit I've done resistors because... Uh, the customer did say that he thought the sound was a bit low and for once I tended to agree with the customer. I generally really don't agree with customers so don't make a habit of expecting it. The reason why, if the customer's right, wouldn't be, wouldn't he, wouldn't be needing me would he? But on this occasion, um, I actually thought it was a bit low myself. But we'll see how it is uh, when we put it back together. I've had the tone on it and I'm happy with it. And to be perfectly honest, there's not really anything else I can do. Uh, all the resistors, the ones I haven't replaced, I've checked and they are in spec. Uh, so I'm happy with that. But the ones I've replaced were out, so they've been replaced with... Uh, resistors that are now in spec and I'm just moving some stuff so I've got room to move and I can have a quick chat while I'm moving some shit um, I don't know what I'm doing later there will be some electronics coming be another video on the go in a bit I don't know what I'm going to be doing later but we'll think of something you know me folks Things never stand still here at Vintage Electronics Repair. Uh, 
we always find something that needs to be done. Um, don't know what yet, but there'll be something. But uh, I'm happy with the way this thing's turned out. Uh, what I might do actually after, I might get me crop clips and lead and wire and stuff. And uh, what I might do, I might make up some patch leads uh, like this one here so that I can connect. Uh, so that if I need to, I can connect the original speaker and stuff like that. Make up a range of leads. Another thing I need to do, I need to think about scrapping uh, certain items I get because I could do with one of these transform, one of these dance set transformers about this size because this would power all the dance sets. So I could do with one of these and uh, you know. What I'm going to do before I put this in and make it easier for me now, rather than struggle once struggle with the wires, I'm going to re-tin the speaker leads. I'm going to do it now, and the reason why, I'm going to cut my solder them on. Got a nice fresh solder on them. There we are. Now if we zoom out, and as you can see, <coughs> I have been right around this, I've got it working as best as I can. There's only so much you can do. As Donald would say, there's only so much you can do and, you know, you can't go through life thinking everything can be done. Because there's certain things in life that can't be done. All the screws for putting this back together are all contained within. Apart from them two nuts I've just taken off the volume control. And we've got all this ready to go back together. So what I will do, I will now grab your dancer case. I mean, in all honesty, the customer wants to use this. I can't think for the love of money why, but for the love of God even why. But he does. Well, it was his mother's, wasn't it? So I understand that. I understand it, folks. I really do. Right, and we've been using that to connect the speaker. We'll make some proper leads up for doing jobs like that later. Probably even keep that one for connecting speakers. But uh, we could do it a bit longer, really. So in case I can't get the case on the bench. Anyway, <clears throat> we've got all the screws here for this to go back together. The case screws I haven't got because he took it apart himself and brought it to me with no screws in it. I'm just looking, making sure that I'm happy. Yes. Um, right. With the power of video, I'm going to put this lot together and it's going to take me about a millisecond. There we go, folks, back together. Right. Let's just lift you up a bit. I haven't even plugged this thing in yet. We're still. This. There we go, that'll do. Right. I've just got around to put, I've just got, I've just got the plug on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, right, we're gonna bring it round, no variax, no power, no funny, no, 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 no variax, no power supplies. Uh, straight into the mains, straight on. Oh, 
it would help. It would help if the motor was running. Oh, there we are. Well, sounds fucking louder for a start. There we go. Right. We'll see how it works on there, folks. Without a rotary action like the village shape. Twist nothing down and tilt like it's floating heads. Unique village shape. Twist here, twist there, twist just yeah. like it's floating heads. Floating, floating heads caress your face. Stubborn whiskers go without a trace. That was about last time. Personal touch. Yes, now. It's that was full volume. This is full volume, though. It's made for every face by a new technique. Let's twist. Get it. Quicker, closer. Throw with the Phillips. Round and around and around. Throw with the Phillips. Round and around and around. I said a Phillips. Phillips. That's definitely louder than what it was. the KTEL exercise man welcoming you to a new you because KTEL takes much pleasure in introducing you to the multi exerciser the exerciser that's designed to give you the shapely healthy body that you've been looking for now look at yourself in the mirror if you want to get rid of that pot belly or spare time that's full volume right, on that record but you got to remember turn up your maybe just turn up your maybe just turn up fresh air with a carpet or a rug to lie on you got to remember you that also uh, have a cushion to put under your hips if you need it you know, it could probably, it could probably do with a couple of new valves in it, but... Clothing. So you're not restricted in your exercise. Now, before going on to the exercises, make sure you have read the exerciser instructions carefully so that you'll be familiar with all the movements. Why don't you keep it next to you while exercising, for easy reference. Now, are we all ready? Good. Well, let's try a nice, easy exercise to start you off with. This one's called... Exercise is designed to tighten up those slack tummy muscles. First of all, lie on the floor, face up, with your head up. Now put your feet in the straps and take the hand straps above your head. Now you just may have to adjust the straps at this point so that your feet just clear the floor. Okay, are we all ready now? Good. Now keeping your legs and arms straight, pull down on your hand straps and raise your legs. 
The muscles in your arms and legs and stomach should all of them work together. Raise your legs as high as you can and then lower them to the floor again. Now, let's try with a little bit of rhythm this time. Okay, are we all ready now? And away we go. Up, two, three, and down, two, three. Smoothly now. No jokes. And up, two, three, down, two, three. And up, two, three, and down, two, three. Now, with continuous exercising, you should be able to do at least 100 of these by the end of this week. And while you're in that position, let's move straight on to the second exercise. This one's called the high stepper. With your feet and hands still in the straps as they were before, bend one knee and bring it up right to your chest. And then, as you lower it, bring the other knee up in a kind of marching action. Now, with this one, it's important to flex the leg fully as you lower it and get the knee as close as possible to the chest. Got the idea? Right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right. Now keep practicing that one because it's very good for the whole body. Ready for exercise number three? Good. This is another nice, easy one called the thigh shaper. And once again, assume the correct starting position. On your back, on the floor. Both feet in the straps, hands in the hand straps. Keeping them straight, raise your legs to a midway position. And that's about halfway between horizontal and vertical. Then lower one leg about 16 to 19 inches. Not to the floor, mind. And as you raise it again, lower the other leg the same distance. Repeat this scissor action as fast as you can go. One, two, 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 one, two. Can you feel those lazy muscles working for you? Good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Everything's happening. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep it up. One, two, one, two. And now you should gradually work your way up to 100 exercises. Now that you've got those under your belt, why not turn the record over and reap more benefits from your KTEL multi-exerciser? Right, well that's as good as I can get it, folks, so I'm going to give it a proper test. Uh, I've, had to, I've, had to put, I've had to put a two core uh, power cord back on it again. Because... Uh, it didn't like having an earth on it for some daft reason, but it wasn't made with an earth on, so. Anyway. And that hum you can hear there. That's normal. As soon as this record starts. I'm going to, as soon as this starts, I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching, and more to come later, folks, and bye for now.